Hello YouTube viewing audience, here with a quick video today because the Trove Carafe 2018 has just been released as the TI8 group uh, stage has concluded with Pain Gaming and uh, I believe IG being knocked out. So let's take a look at these sets. First we start with the Huskar Spoils of Dazoon, kind of like the Pipe of Dazoon, and it's actually a Winter Wyvern looking uh, pelt over his shoulder. Really cool cosmetic, probably going to be very visible in game, and does it change any animations? Ambient effects, custom effects? Yeah it does, so let's actually make this a bit of a longer video and uh, demo all of these. So it changes Inner Vitality icon, so probably we'll change his Inner Vitality um, animations and whatnot. So let's take a look here. Adds a bubble around you when you cast it and the particle effect while it's on you is this um, really cool kind of cycling cyclone on the bottom. So good stuff there. Next up in the treasures we have the Ogre Magi Gimlek Decanter uh, weapon here. That is really cool. It has like a golden Roshan uh, as the framework and a bottle of what looks like blood on the inside. And it looks like it changes the bloodlust, of course. And so let's see what that looks like right now. So it changes the icon to make it actually look super cool. The icon above them uh, is different. This actually is one of the coolest cosmetics I've ever seen. Um, especially for Ogre Magi. You can see I already have his um, wheel here, but um, the effect is slightly different, but not too crazy different from the other Bloodlust things. And the status is actually, uh, has a changed icon as well, so that's a nice touch there. Next up we're going to be looking at Pangolier's Mask of the Confidant headpiece uh, for this spinning guy who keeps moving around. Gives him a cool mask and helmet and it changes his shield crash. So let's take a look at that. Changes the icon as expected. And it leaves a mark on the ground in the shape of a heart. Uh, free spells. So it looks like that's the main difference. Let's see if uh, that changes when you hit somebody. Uh, spawn enemy. So, yes, again, the status actually has a different icon, and the shields, let's take a look in here close, they actually have uh, the heart shield icon as well, so yeah, just uh, a lot of attention to detail right there. Next up, we're going to be looking at the Venomancer Cult of Aktok Mask for the Banana Man. That's going to be changing his Venomous Gale, and it looks like it almost makes it into arrows. That looks pretty cool. Let's level this up to max and make it target dummy. So this icon almost looks like a rain of arrows. Let's see what this looks like. Exactly, it actually looks like a bunch of poison dart arrow looking things. Uh, darts specifically, and if we take a look at not that courier, we can see that uh, when you're affected with this venomous scale, you will actually have darts sticking in you. So that's actually pretty cool. That's actually quite a lot of darts for the normal hero. I wonder if it's directional or if it's always the back. Agitation. Looks like it's always the back, but yeah, pretty cool effect. And does it change? Yes, it changes the status again. So looks like that's going to be the new standard for these cosmetics that have status effects. Next up we have Rubik's Crux of the Perplex, a fantastic looking mantelpiece that goes with his Staff of Perplex as well. That's going to be changing his Fade Bolt animation and I can't wait to see this one because it looks so damn cool. Just the cosmetic value itself is amazing. Very visible, very cool, and let's see what this Fade Bolt looks like. Fantastic. So let's actually take a look at a bunch of enemies at once. What the hell? Okay. So yeah, it just changes the Fade Bolt animation and makes it look super cool and cubular. Awesome. So next up, we have the Disruptor Orb of Deliverance. Uh, looks like that's his weapon piece here. Looks like some sort of crazy electrical invention. It's going to be changing his Thunder Strike, I assume, to make it look like that center ball in there. Level up to max and see what it looks like. Oh, wow, that's actually really cool. So instead of the uh, ball lightning that you see above, you now have uh, the centerpiece of the weapon, and it has a very visible, almost like Nimbus effect around it when it strikes. So that is really cool. I really like that one. Next up is Silencer's Glaive of Oscilla. 
So that actually replaces his glaive, which he's famous for. Let's see what that looks like right now. Let's cast that there. Obviously changes the glaive attack effect. If it's, It is also for the normal auto attack, so not only for the uh, glaives. It looks like with the glaives it also adds different particle effects than the normal uh, enchant or glaives of wisdom that you'd see. So yeah, pretty cool weapon for him. Next up, we're going to look at the Storm Spirit Mandate of the Stormborn shoulder piece, as well as Cape on the back. That is a very cool effect, and it will be changing the overload ability. So let's take a look at that. Up to max, target dummy, enemy, enemy. So overload is his passive that's going to be popped whenever we um, cast a spell. And let's take a look here. Looks like he's actually holding just a blob of pure energy. That looks really cool. And when he throws it, it has a much more visible particle um, area around the target that's hit. That is really cool. Now that's going to actually add a lot of noise to your screen during team fights where Storm's going to be involved. So that's going to be making things pretty hard to see when you're in a team fight against Storm. Next up is Wind Ranger's Sylvan Vedette. Uh, this is the rare bonus reward, and it is a bird on the shoulder of the Wind Ranger. And also looks like it might be these arm pieces as well. Uh, is it a set? It looks like it might not be a set. So it's the shackle shot that is changed in this case. Let's level up to max. Take a look at this. That is a cool bird. And the shackle shot. Oh wow, okay. So it makes the shackle shot very orange instead of yellow, and makes a bird rise from it uh, when it impacts. But also, the projectile while it's moving kind of moves in a dual helix fashion. It looks really cool, really sparkly effect. So this is a really amazing cosmetic. Holy shit! Would be delighted to receive this as an item. And Wind Ranger seems to be fairly well in the meta right now. Storm Spirit is going to get the Golden, in this case, and be uh, the recipient of the Golden Mandate of the Stormborn. So I assume that's going to be mainly a color change for his overcharge. So yeah, the color change makes it Golden. And of course, this, that uh, particle effect, wow, is really cool still. Just the way it radiates out just looks amazing. Alright, now let's take a look at the poster boy of this entire uh, Trove Carafe of 2018, the Marana Axia of Mentira. Of, of Mentira. Damn, that's hard to uh, hard to read and say. That's going to change her leap ability, but just obviously looking at this, it looks like an amazing mount. This is definitely going to be one of the most expensive items in Dota 2 if I were to uh, make the decisions on how to price them. So let's just take a look at this as it's moving around. Good idea. Lots of particle effects on the wings. The design of the mount itself is extremely um, detailed and very well done. Let's take a look at these leaps here. Alright, so it actually adds a little bit of a wing movement and gust from the wings when you leap. It looks like there's actually quite a lot of particle effecting going on here too. So, amazing mount from Marana. Definitely one of the best cosmetics in the game, period. Alright, so those are going to be all of the cosmetics from the Trove Craft 2018. And I have purchased eight of them, so I will be guaranteed one of each of these sets here. And a possibility of receiving some of these rare, very rare, and extremely rare sets as well. So keep in mind, these treasures are more expensive than usual. They are $3.99 instead of the usual $1.99 for a collector's cash. Um, and in this case, we are actually going to be hang, uh, hanging on to some rares. Oh, not, not until the end, unfortunately. That's the first out of the eight cases we received the Storm uh, shoulder piece. Don't play that much Storm mid, personally. Um, but I do have a little bit of experience from it a long time ago. Maybe we do get the Storm Pulcher in this time, but not the case. We are not going to be receiving that golden Storm today. So instead we're going to be moving on to the third trove uh, of 2018. As again, no rare, stick around to the end, unfortunately. Moving on to the fourth case. We're going to be hoping for that Marana mount as it disappears, but this Wind Ranger 
doesn't decide to stay until the end either. So we're going to be moving on to the fifth case. So this is four down, four to go, uh, currently on the fifth case. And the Storm Spirit's not going to last either. It's really hard to tell at the end here because all of these five sets disappear. So these rares usually stick around more towards the end. And we actually get the Wind Ranger rare. That's actually fantastic. The Trove, um, I actually haven't gotten... Uh, any rares from the uh, troves for a while now, so this is actually a really cool uh, to actually have some good luck for once. So yeah, even though I haven't opened any rares or very rares from the um, tr uh, Immortal Treasure 3, I do have at least this rare to uh, show for it. So I believe that was the sixth treasure. No, that was the seventh treasure. So this is going to be the last treasure. Let's see if anything sticks around. And no, it'll be the Huskar set. And that'll be the end of this Trove Carafe 2018 opening. We did manage to get the Wind Ranger set in the end, which uh, features an amazing bird as well as new Shackle Shot animation. Um, unfortunately, we did not get that insanely cool Marana mount, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to trade for one one day. Uh, while I'm at it, I guess I might as well open this treasure one that I got earlier from uh, playing the Under Hollow. Hopefully we get that Condesil, but not going to be the case this time. That is the only thing I'm missing from the uh, treasure one rewards. If we take a look here, you'll see that I'm only missing the uh, Codesil, as well as every single treasure three reward. And of course the Cosmically Rare. So yeah. I hope you guys have luck, uh, good luck in your own Trove Carafe 2018 openings. And um, also good luck during the TI predictions. If you take a look at these fantasy predictions I made, I basically um, copied that guy who does the predictions um, on Esports Haven. Um, so far, he's actually been, uh, been giving pretty good predictions. On this day, I actually forgot to uh, replace my full liquid lineup. Um, with his predictions, but uh, it turned out okay in the end anyways. So yeah, good luck uh, in your own Trove Carafe openings. Hope you guys enjoy TI. There's definitely going to be some really awesome games there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. See you in the next video.